Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Metro under the main headline of Jamie Carragher makes top 4 prediction as Arsenal defeat. Gives Man United hope. Summary of headline article. Jamie Carragher made his top 4 prediction after Arsenal lost to Liverpool. Picture. Sky Sports. Jamie Carragher has made his Premier League top 4 prediction after Liverpool beat Arsenal 2. Give Manchester United. West Ham and Tottenham hope of securing the final Champions League spot. The Gunners are still fourth but find themselves just one point above Manchester United. While fellow top four contenders West Ham and Tottenham are both within one victory of Arsenal. Speaking after Liverpool's 2-0 win over Arsenal. Carragher told Sky Sports. The fight for Arsenal is to get into the top four. Mikel Arteta's side briefly threatened to upset title chasing Liverpool. Picture. Getty. They're in a fight with Tottenham. Manchester United and West Ham. Arsenal's top four rivals Tottenham return to winning ways against Brighton. Picture. Getty. He said. From box to box. We did everything that we'd planned. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel jumps to top of exclusive. Club ahead of Pep Guardiola. Summary of headline article. The German is one of only three managers to have secured 30 or more wins from their first 50. Champions League games is a boss. Guardiola secured 30 wins in that time span. All of which were achieved during his four-year spell as Barcelona manager. That record helped the La Liga giants to lift two Champions League titles. Reaching the semi-finals in the two years Guardiola failed to win the tournament. Zidane led Los Blancos to three successive Champions League titles in that span. Though won only one of his next three games in the competition before leaving the Bernabeu. Who was man of the match as Chelsea defeated Lille in the Champions League? From Mail Online under the main headline of England's Joe Root has moved up the all-time list of Test Centurions. Summary of headline article. Joe Root inched up the all-time list of Test Centurions number 25 one ahead of Greg Chappell. Viv Richards. Mohamed Yusuf. Kane Williamson and David Warner. And level with Inzamam al haq The only player with 26 test hundreds was in the stands at Kensington Oval. Garfield Sobers. Joe Root. Pictured. Inched up the all-time list of test centurions number 25. Moving ahead of the likes of Greg Chappell and Viv Richards in the 12 test innings in which he has. Reached 50. He has scored 100 on eight occasions. In that time, Root has scored 2,018 test runs. Dan Lawrence now has four test 50s. Each made in a different country. Sri Lanka. India. England and Barbados. From Mail Online under the main headline of Cheltenham Tips. Day 3. Summary of headline article. Sportsmail provides all the tips ahead of the third day of Cheltenham Festival with selections from Britain's number one tipster Sam Turner, eight-time champion jockey Peter Scudamore and festival-winning jockey Lizzie Kelly. The Willie Mullins bandwagon engaged Top Gear yesterday and KLASSICAL Dream. Cheltenham. 3.30 could provide further grade 1 success for the Clossutton handler in the Paddy Power Stayers. Hurdle this afternoon. A-L-A-P-H-I-L-I-P-P-E. Cheltenham. 2.10. May instigate a good day for local handler Fergal O'Brien in the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle. It is perhaps a shade surprising that Willie Mullins hasn't chosen to run D-I-N-O-B-L-U-E. Cheltenham. 4.50.
again following her highly authoritative success at Clonmel in January. However, she was professional that day, hurdling slickly before easing clear. So the master trainer must be content that she boasts enough streetcraft today. From Sky Sports under the main headline of Martin Brundle. F1 2022 preview and why Lewis Hamilton needs, elbows out, to beat Max Verstappen. Summary of headline article. I think Lewis will come back with more determination than ever and I think he's going to have to get his elbows out with Max, said Brundle. Everybody is going to have to play Max at his own game if they want to beat him. I think Mercedes will be very close to them. George can challenge Lewis this season, Brundle insists. I think Lewis will come back with more determination than ever and I think he's going to have to get his elbows out with Max. From iNews under the main headline of Man United will have to rip up their entire squad, if they appoint Pochettino or Ten Hag. Summary of headline article. It sums up the lack of joined-up thinking that frontrunners Eric Ten Hag and Mauricio Pochettino offer little consistency in terms of style of play or philosophy from Rangnick. Essentially you need a head coach that adds value. There's a managerial merry-go-round in the UK because clubs aren't brave enough to go out and find a manager who adds value. Our data model is about stripping it back and working out who adds value where. Who does well compared to their budget? Who adds defensively? Who adds attacking value and recommending off the back of that? What is required is for United to coalesce around a unified vision of style of play. Recruitment and approach. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Paul Pogba Euro's house burgled while he was playing for Manchester United against Atletico Madrid. Summary of headline article. Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba has revealed that his house was burgled while his two children were asleep in their bedroom as he played in the Champions League on Tuesday night. Pogba said his and wife Zule's worst nightmare had been realized and that the break-in, which happened while United were playing Atletico Madrid at Old Trafford, had stripped them of our sense of safety and security. The France World Cup winner is the latest Premier League player to fall victim to criminals. Targeting homes in the northwest area. Victor Lindelof, Pogba's United teammate was playing against Brentford in January when his house was broken into while his wife and two young children were inside. It is for this reason that I would like to offer a reward for anyone who has a clue to help us. From The Guardian under the main headline of Christian Romero and Harry Kane on target is Spurs ease. Past Brighton. Summary of headline article. Home might be where the heart is but it is seemingly not where Harry Kane does his best work. 95 goals and counting on the road in the Premier League. A second-half strike securing a crucial Tottenham victory at Brighton. His side were already one to the good when Kane broke Wayne Rooney's away goals record. Christian Romero having unwittingly grabbed his first since arriving in the summer before the break. Because it's important to have a target. A difficult target for sure. Fourth place is not simple. The second was a classic counter. The hosts attack becoming porous defense when Rodrigo Bentancur sent Kane racing away. From Daily Star under the main headline of Chelsea have Jules Kunde transfer fear amid takeover. Talks is bid nears. Summary of headline article. Something went wrong. Please try again later. Sign up to free email alerts from Daily Star. Transfer news something went wrong. Please try again later. Invalid email subscribe Chelsea fear missing out on top transfer target Jules Kunde if the sale of the club is not completed quickly.
they had even received assurances from intermediaries that Kunde was willing to snub interest from other clubs to come to Stamford Bridge. Backed by U.S. hedge fund entrepreneur Ken Griffin. Their bid for Chelsea will be made before the Friday deadline for offers passes. From Metro under the main headline of Chelsea fans tear gassed by French police after chanting. Roman Abramovich's name. Summary of headline article. Chelsea fans tear gassed as they chanted Roman Abramovich and threw bottles at police Chelsea fans. Clashed with French riot police ahead of last night's Champions League game in Lille. Chelsea fans have enjoyed unprecedented success under Roman Abramovich's reignway were called to the bar following complaints about the behaviour of the supporters, said a local police spokesman. Who added the violence started soon after 6.30pm. Rustam Doroshenko, a 27-year-old from Poltava, in central Ukraine, was among those Chelsea fans speaking up for Mr. Abramovich. I am not a politician. But I do believe that Roman Abramovich should be shown justice and respect. When asked about the prospect of playing without fans, Tuchel replied, Thanks for ruining my evening. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.